Howdy everyone, it's Sam. Welcome back to Wobble and Joe Sports. If you're new around here, hope I can get you to consider to like the content and subscribe to the channel. But if you are a regular around these few parts, thank you very much for the continuous support. Got to do things a little bit differently this week. I don't like doing it, but I'm just working really, really hard this week. So these are the tips for round number nine in the 2024 season for the NRL. Round 9 starts from Sydney Olympic Park as the South Sydney Rabbitohs host the Penrith Panthers. On Sportsbet, the Panthers are $1.15 favourites. The Rabbitohs are $5.50 outsiders. Panthers have had the better in recent memory, especially since the 2021 Grand Final. Penrith Panthers are expecting Taruva to come back, so that will push Alamotti out of the side. Unclear on whether or not Liotta and Sorensen will be in. For the South Sydney Rabbitohs, there's still no sign of Mitchell or Johnston, and they will be missing Tane Milne uh, from this side uh, for a couple of weeks as well after his brain explosion on Anzac Day against the Melbourne Storm. Uh, this is a really easy one. Uh, South, they're then no hope in this game, sorry. Uh, Penrith Panthers, I'll, I will, I'll, I'll say 13 plus. Friday Night Football, there are two contests and game number one is from Four Pines Park, Manly versus Canberra. Manly are coming into the game as favourites at this point in time. They are $1.59. The Raiders are about $2.37. For Manly, DCE and Olakowatu will not be in this game due to suspension, possibly three weeks, but at the moment it will stand at two. DCE, uh, I believe Jake Arthur will come in for. Uh, Jake Arthur will come in for DCE and play at halfback. I think they might keep Luke Brooks at 5'8", but in any event, it will be a Arthur and Brooks uh, halves pairing for Manly this weekend. And then for the who fills in for uh, Olakowatu, I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm really not too sure if Ben Trebojevic is back or available from, uh, from injury, possibly. Possibly, uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens on Tuesday. For the Canberra Raiders, um, yeah, that back line, uh, the, the the youth in the squad um, that we all thought might keep them down in the bottom four uh, for 2024, maybe we're just starting to see a little bit of that sign. Well, maybe we're starting to see a little bit of those signs that we all thought might have been there um, at the start of the season, but. Um, uh, I'm not too sure on who might be coming back for him uh, this weekend. Uh, if Jordan Rapiner does return for them, um, I don't think he's due to. It will definitely bring Raiders more into calculations. But I'll go Manly. I'm not totally convinced. I'm not confident in that tip. Uh, Manly and Canberra have a tendency to play some absolute bangers against each other. And without DCE and Noel Kawatu, and with this young Raiders outfit, maybe the Raiders could go up to Four Pines and get the job done. Um, but at this stage, I'm, I'm gonna tip Manly, but I'm not confident because Manly, they should have really utterly pumped Parramatta the other night, and it, they didn't really pump him in the end. They had a real difficult time of trying to take down Parramatta. Um, so I'll tip Manly, one to 12. Not confident though, this could be a flip of the coin come Friday night. And the main event on Friday night footy uh, is the game of the round, the Brisbane Broncos versus the Sydney Roosters. On sports bet, Brisbane are $1.55, Roosters are $2.46. That's not too bad of value at this stage of the game um, for a couple of different reasons. I'll get to that in a second. This is the rematch uh, from the Las Vegas games and that contest got a little bit fiery. Unfortunately, it does look like that Ezra Mam is not going to participate in this contest. Maybe at a pinch he will, but I doubt it. Uh, and Spencer Lenu is still one week away for the Sydney Roosters. Uh, for the Brisbane Broncos, we saw Reese Walsh and Adam Reynolds have one hell of a time uh, trying to finish that game down at Campbelltown the other night. But I think 
they will participate in this Friday night game against the Roosters. And then Easts, off the back of Sam Walker's uh, best game of all time to date, uh, they ran riot on Anzac Day against the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Uh, Victor Radley potentially will be coming back into this side. I think that would be more likely than not. Uh, this should be just as close um, as their round one contest. Um, the scoreline wouldn't suggest that, but uh, I think this will be a lot more intense than round one. I'm actually gonna go Brisbane to have the revenge game, get some retribution after losing to them in week number one. I think uh, I think even though Ezra Mann may not be playing, I think there might be a little bit of energy and he might be given a bit of a rocket up his teammates saying, oi, let's get these SOBs this weekend sort of a thing. Um, but I think this is, this is this is going to be a great game. I think this could be a really great game. Uh, I'm going to tip the Brisbane Broncos to win this game 1-12. to Then we shift into Super Saturday and game number one, Bulldogs versus Tigers from a core stadium. The Bulldogs are $1.45 favourites. The Tigers are $2.76 outsiders. The Bulldogs will be coming off the buy uh, to take on the Tigers here at uh, Sydney Olympic Park uh, and the Tigers coming off a bit of a hiding. But at times, their attack looked rather decent. At times, it looked decent against a well-drilled uh, Brisbane Broncos defensive wall. So this, the, even though they got smacked, there's still a little bit to take out of it. Um, from that loss against the Brisbane Broncos for the West Tigers. Uh, for the Bulldogs, who knows what their team could look like uh, in, in the coming days. I really don't know how they're gonna go, um, but you'd suspect that uh, Crichton uh, will revert back to center, I think. Uh, Black Blake Taff may uh, play at fullback. Um, again, he would have fully recovered from that concussion. He suffered three or so weeks ago, but who knows, like legitimately, who knows what this dog's outfit's gonna look like. But I know that this dog's outfit is playing with a fair bit of ticker at this, uh, at this point in time. Um, I think this will be a very spirited contest as well. Uh, I'm going to say that the Bulldogs win especially since there was a huge injury concern for Api Corusau. I don't think he finished the game. Um, so if he doesn't play on Saturday, absolutely Bulldogs, potentially 13 plus. Um, but even with Corusau, uh for the Tigers, I would still tip the Bulldogs. Uh, so at this stage, I don't think Corusau will play, but at the moment that's yet to be confirmed. So I'm gonna say the Bulldogs to win one to 12. Match number two is from Seabus Super Stadium, the Titans versus the Melbourne Storm. Titans, they are $4.95. The Storm are $1.18 favorites. Uh, both these teams breaking the shackles in a couple of different senses last weekend. The Titans got their first victory of the year against the Warriors in New Zealand in a cracking contest. Congratulations to the Titans. Uh, they've been building to that the past three weeks or so. Uh, they've been playing with a lot more heart, whereas the Storm broke the shackles in the sense that, well, they scored 50 points against the Rabbitohs. Uh, they had their best attacking display all season long. There is still a concern about their defense. And if a team like the Rabbits, who are going like a busted ass at the moment, can score 20, maybe another form of a busted ass in the Gold Coast Titans might be able to score 20 points on them as well. Maybe the Storm will have a harder time, a harder time against the Gold Coast Titans. However, it's Cameron Munster's 200th game. It's a 200 game milestone this Saturday. Um, so the boys, they'll get around Cameron Munster big time. But I think, uh, I think the Titans will be a little bit more resolute um, in defense than South Sydney, uh, but probably not by a hell of a lot. This could be a, a 36 to 18 sort of a game that goes in the way of the Melbourne Storm. So in that, in that, while it's not terribly extravagant, I am gonna say that Melbourne Storm win this 13 plus. Then the third game on Saturday is the North Queensland Cowboys 
versus the Dolphins. The Cowboys are $1.48, Dolphins are $2.66, and I think the Dolphins price is going to blow out, come closer to kickoff. Uh, the Cowboys, they've lost three games in a row, but it felt like a step in the right direction after they narrowly went down to the Penrith Panthers in an Anzac round classic, 26 points to 20. And it was their best performance of the season. I know that they flogged Dolphins in round one and the Dolphins would be stinging from it, um, but that was their best performance, North Queensland of 2024 so far in a losing effort against the best team of the past five seasons. Whereas the Dolphins, they went down to the Newcastle Knights and I think, um, I, I, I didn't forget, but it's probably one of the more graphic times that I've seen a team look like they had all the energy sapped from them after playing in Darwin the week before. It was kind of graphic in that sense. Unfortunately for them, both Bromwich brothers did not complete the game uh, against the Newcastle Knights in their loss to them at Suncorp Stadium. And uh, so that means they will not be participating on Saturday. Flegler uh, seeming like uh, there's in recent news that Flegler's season could be over. Farnworth and Hammer are still going to be out. Even though they still got Trey Fuller, uh, this Cowboys side, this is, um, yeah, let's let's call it a must win. Uh, not the most extreme version of a must win, but yeah, they got to get this one done. And I'm going to have faith that the Cowboys can do them in 13 plus this Saturday. We shift into Sunday. There are two games. Match number one is from McDonald Jones Stadium. The Newcastle Knights host the New Zealand Warriors. The Warriors are $1.60 favourites. The Knights are $2.35. Newcastle breaking through uh, with a decent performance uh, against the Dolphins, particularly that first half. And David Armstrong, uh, his debut at fullback was sensational. So he's already answered the call uh, since Kalen Ponga will be out for the next 12 weeks. Um, absolutely brilliant uh, from that young man. The New Zealand Warriors going down to the Gold Coast Titans, however. Uh, yet yeah, now they've lost two games in a row and you never have felt that the Warriors have played their best footy, even though they smashed the Rabbitohs a month ago. We're talking about the South Sydney Rabbitohs of 2024. Uh, nothing to really crow about. So the Waz, this is almost a version of a must win. And they're going to be a lot more full strength than what Newcastle are at the moment. Um, but if Newcastle bring that first 40 minutes with them and develop that into a full 80 minutes um, against this Warriors side. This could be a really, really close game. Uh, and the Warriors just, yeah, the, the, the Warriors, I, I don't know if it's energy or I don't know. They, they just look really basic in attack and therefore it looks lethargic, like more lethargic than what it actually is. Um, but it, it's more so their attack. Um, yeah, their defense needs to be edited and improved, but I'm a bit worried about their attack. In any event, I'm going to tip the Warriors 1-12. to 12. Uh, That first half from the Newcastle Knights against the Dolphins uh, without Kalen Ponga was 2023 stuff from them. Uh, it, was a, it was a bit of an eyebrow-raising first half in in a positive sense for the Newcastle Knights um, but in any event I'm going to tip the Warriors um, but a little bit weary a little bit trepidatious about it and the final game of round number nine is from Shark Park it is the great southern derby Sharks versus Dragons Cronulla are $1.29 the Dragons are $3.64 uh, Sharkies getting the win on Sunday and the Dragons are going down on Anzac Day big time, uh, 60 points to 18. The Sharks uh, should just be too good. They're, they're looking more and more like a threat, but my eyes, and I think everybody else at the moment, are all looking forward a week because next week, not round nine, but in round number 10, Cronulla traveled down to Melbourne to take on the storm at Amy Park on a Saturday night. Now, they might lose this game to the Dragons. It's a derby. They might have one eye on the Storm next week. 
I don't think after three seasons now, Craig Fitzgibbon will allow them to have a lazy eye. I think the Sharks win. I think it might be a little bit closer um, than uh, anticipated, but I'll, I'll, I'll go Cronulla to win one to 12, but by like double digits. So, you know, by that 10 or 12 point margin, uh, I think they'll be comfortable in the end, but I'm already talking about it. Storm versus Sharks next week in round number 10 is arguably the game of the season to date. So that is, that, that's something to really uh, chew on the bones of next weekend. Uh, so thank you very much for listening. Apologies uh, for this sort of video. You guys know that I don't like presenting my content like this, but here we are. Have a very nice weekend. Go you Cowboys. Talk to you in the next episode. Thank you. Take care. Adios.